Welcome back to Borderlands 2. I have to do some stuff. So I have to go to some pumping stations, it looks like. Uh, this is uh, another voiceover commentary. The rest of this playthrough is voiceover commentary because it's the same recording session and audio all got lost. I mentioned that in, uh, I think it was part 138. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was part 138 where I mentioned that audio was lost because Audacity crashed and I was saving the project. And yeah, it sucks. So I just got to give voiceover commentary, which is also why there's no face cam. Uh, I could have used face cam, but I took the freaking uh, green screen down. I moved the camcorder uh, so it's not up, and I just I didn't want to do face cam because that would have been annoying as fuck to do. Taking the green screen or uh, lowering the green screen. I mean, uh, lowering the green screen every time I have to record a little bit of audio for a video because I'm recording these audio clips as I'm editing the video, so I'm watching the video play in the editor while I speak. And after I get the audio edited, or I've recorded, I mean, I then run it into the uh, editor. I mean, I, I bring it into the editor after I edit the audio, and I edit the video and render it out. So I've been recording one audio clip every hour, hour and a half or so. And that's just how I got to work for the remaining 10 videos. This one plus the other nine, because this playthrough will end on part 149. No. So, anyways, I have to go to some pumping stations to stop a pump of iridium, iridium, and after I get the iridium pump stopped, I get to crash a vehicle into the tube thingy and use the tube thingy to go to where I have to go for the main quest in order to get to the area uh, where Firestone is and the Saturn robot and do all that shit over there. Uh, everything is going to go really fast though because I have a B shield as you can see I'm just destroying stuff when I hit them. It is amazing. <laughs> I like the B shield. I hate these invisible jerks. They're going to be popping up throughout the rest of the game. Those stupid jackasses there. They cannot be phase locked just like uh, stalkers except you can see them a little bit and you can't see stalkers when stalkers are invisible. Uh, so it's, it's pretty much the same thing as a stalker. Uh, it's just easier to see where they are, and they like to stay invisible a lot longer than stalkers. If I remember right, they like to stay invisible all the time or something, uh, and it's going to be a little annoying, but thankfully my B-Shield's going to help uh, as long as I make sure I don't get shot, because if I get shot, then I'm not going to get amp damage uh, with my bullets. Uh, B-Shield effect only works if your shields are maxed out. Unlike other amp damage shields, it works all the time as long as your shields are not depleted. And the reason for that is because the other amp damage shields will deplete your shields constantly with every shot that's fired. Uh, the B shield does not deplete your shield. It just... it doesn't. <laughs> so if you don't get hit, you're fine. So I have to hide a lot more, but it's still a lot faster. Even with that hiding, the annoyance waiting for shields to recharge, it's still a whole hell of a lot faster than not using the beast shield because this damn shield has given me a 40,000 damage boost, which is freaking incredible. And it's going to be really incredible when I get to the Saturn robot and when I get to the badass constructors later on in the game. Then when I get to the warrior too, it's going to be doing a shit ton of damage on warrior and... It's also one of the biggest reasons why I get to survive so easily against Warrior, though I do die once and I take a shitload of damage on a jump around and I have a lot of trouble there still. Uh, but most of that is because Warrior is level 52. I'm currently level 50. I don't remember if I get to level 51 or not. I might get to level 51. Uh, but when I'm fighting Warrior, he just does too much damage to me and then the rack tended to go after me a bunch really which sucked uh but the biggest issue uh was just warriors damage and the crystalisks sneaking up on me and shooting some shit at me but the crystalisks weren't a huge issue when i was shooting them with the amp damage from the shield which was freaking awesome but instead of spoiling that video i'll just leave it until that actual video uh going through two videos i think part 148 i get to the warrior and on the final part 149 i killed warrior uh, because i die on part 148 otherwise i would have killed warrior on part 148 and it would have been the end of the playthrough on part 148 uh, but anyways 
So I am almost done with the first pumping station. I just have to finish off these assassins. I think that may have been the last assassin in the area. I'm not sure. It looks like there's no red dots in the map. So I think I have killed everything in this area. And I just have to turn this little knob, handle thingy, whatever. Uh, the crank, the pump is now being turned off. Last one. There we go. And now I have to run to the other two pumping stations. I was thinking there are only two for some reason, but there's three in total. And I basically have to do that same thing over again two more times, but it's going to be slightly different in each area. Uh, it's, it's essentially the same. You run in, you kill stuff, you turn stuff. But one of them, I, I think I end up doing the third one next. And the second pump will be f uh, the last pump I do, the final pump. Uh, but on the last one, I think that's where a big fight is, which actually gets me killed. Uh, but I think I also die here as well. Uh, I was looking through the video to find it, make sure if there's any loading spots I could edit out uh, before I give my commentary on this. And uh, there's no loading spots I have to work with, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I, I, I saw that I died here, and I do remember dying here. I don't remember how I died. Uh, something just destroyed me here, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm driving around right now in this little area because the B-Shield, you can see I'm just destroying stuff with the vehicle and you could say, oh, well, it's just because it's the vehicle, but no, the vehicles don't do that much damage. And yeah, that fucker just destroyed my freaking car with the goddamn Helix launcher, which sucked. Uh, yeah, that just really sucked. <laughs> the beginning of the end, Helix launcher destroys my car. But I was using the car because the B shield, as I was trying to say before, I got all distracted by him shooting the damn uh, helix launcher at me. Uh, the B shield does work the vehicles, so if you have a B shield, make sure it's charged before you enter the vehicle. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work if it's not charged all the way. It might, because probably just charges when you're in a vehicle or whatever. Uh, so just go in the vehicle when it's a uh, fully charged B shield and you can drive around and the bullets will do the same additional amp damage as a regular gun when you're outside of the vehicle, which is freaking awesome and it's very, very helpful. And yeah, it looks like that's how I died. The B shield has a very weak shield because it does so much damn damage. So if you get cornered, you're going to die very easily, especially if you're around some uh, explosions and this stupid jet loader just annihilated me because I was already low shields, low health, and they shot some missiles and the splash damage from the missiles managed to kill me because the damn explosion radius, explosion radius, not explosion, 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 blah, whatever. <laughs> so I have to go back over there. I think I get a vehicle and kill the remaining things this time though, so we'll find out. I'm pretty sure I'm, yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. I have a vehicle, obviously. I am killing the Super Badass Repel Savea drone up there. I hate those stupid things. They're freaking annoying. And something floating. Oh, that's the jet loader. They just glitched. I don't know. I, I think I face locked them right when I got downed. So they, they just glitched, which was really odd. Um, I don't know why they didn't get out of that little specific. Uh, Blah, blah, position. I was thinking spot and position and got mixed up. Sorry. I do that a lot. God damn it. I really do. Uh, but yeah, so I think they just got stuck and there's this glitched because phase lock at the exact perfect time. Uh, some games, well, actually most games, I think, if you time stuff just right, you can confuse the games and they just won't know what the fuck to do. Uh, it's usually frame specific though. Though, if you really want to see this stuff, uh, you can also look up speedruns. Uh, it, it's really, really neat. I like watching some speedruns sometimes. They're cool. People just glitch the fuck out of the game. It's like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? And there's just some games you can beat in like five minutes start to finish. Just because you can glitch them that badly. And I mean, the games that normally would take like four to eight hours or some shit. Uh, or even more, like Wind Waker. Uh, the original Wind Waker, you can beat that in well like an hour maybe an hour and a half if you're good at it uh it takes a long damn time still but i mean compared to i think that game's probably 12 or 15 hours or something i don't remember it's a pretty damn long game it's a good game uh i have the wind waker hd version on wii u i still need to get a new wii u i might be getting a new wii u next month finally uh so for uh me right now next month is july it's june 25th right now 
And it is 12.42 in the morning, so go figure. <laughs> Editing. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just, yeah. <laughs> uh, inside this place is the final pump. Uh, I guess I'm getting this area mixed up with somewhere else. Uh, so this area, yeah, the next area I'm thinking of where there's a big ass fight and ambush with constructors on each side. Uh, that's actually over near Firestone because you go to Firestone in this game, which is awesome. Uh, I, I really liked seeing Firestone in this game, but I really hated seeing Firestone in this game too. Mostly because the Firestone in the first game, it just it looked nice. But in this one, though the graphics are improved, it still looks pretty much the same. It, it's just all the damn slag. It's just uh, friggin' annoying. And yeah, that's what I meant to say when they were pumping, or when I said pumping iridium. I meant they're pumping slag, not pumping iridium. I, I think it's probably about the same thing, really. Uh, I think slag is just the liquid form of iridium or some shit. Maybe not. I guess if it was, then Lilith would just be able to use it like iridium, just refined or iridium and stuff, but I, I don't friggin' know. I wasn't really paying too much attention. I don't look up information on that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's some purple stuff, and it just made fire stone in the surrounding area sound, or look like shit. Anyways, it's the end of this part. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know in the comment or a like, and I'll see you guys in the next part or some other video. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.